Hey loves, Jay here with a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're old here, welcome back. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We're going to hop right into your spiritual insights, hop into your priest bed. I've already pulled here and your tarot cards will clarify each of those once I pull those, okay? Gemini, what I'm feeling, okay, I'm hearing spirits say to drink more water, okay, so you're needing to replenish your body, or this could also mean some of you are needing to get by water to release emotions, to take some time to yourself and just reflect, you know, how you, you know how the water makes you feel, okay, so maybe for some of you, this could even be a bath where you can just sit and soak and release, maybe throw some Epsom salt in the water, throw some candles on, have a glass of wine, put some herbs uh, put some essential oils on, some aromatherapy, something. But water is very important. And when we think of water, it is um, water is connected to emotion. It is connected with releasing as well. Water can also be very turbulent. So I'm not sure what's going to be coming up for you. But getting by water um, and drinking more water is definitely going to help you release something that you may be holding on to. Because I do feel fears that are arising for you. And some of you... Some of these fears are um, arising due to you not being where you want to be in life right now. Okay, so some of you may have had a plan. You are an air sign, so you like to be strategic in things and have a clear vision of what your life should look like by a certain age or by a time frame. So some of you are feeling fears coming up um, because you you thought you were you should have been at a certain place at a certain time in your life, and maybe that isn't happening for you. Okay. Spirit is also saying, okay, this message is for those of you that have been feeling the pressure around something that's that's um, going on in your life. Spirit says, you're not obligated to do it. You're not obligated to do it. Okay, so keep that in mind if you have been looking for answers uh, and feeling guilty about not wanting to do something but feeling obligated to do it. You're not obligated to do it. Okay. Um, some of you are going to decide to take the high road in the situation. Okay, Spirit is saying, be nice to them. Don't take it personally. Okay, so I'm not sure what's coming up for you. Um, uh, I almost said Aquarius and Pisces, so I'm not sure if you're dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces or both. But be nice. Don't take things personally, okay? You're, you're going to have to decide to take the high road in something that's coming up for you. And the last thing is Spirit is saying, be patient, not triggered. Be patient, not triggered. Okay, so whoever needs to hear that, your universal message here is you've got time. Okay, you got time today. Ever wonder what would make life's fle uh, fleeting pain and sorrow totally and unquestionably worth it? How about living forever, wildly in love and loved wildly? Okay. You have much to look forward to the universe, okay? So you've got time. There is no time in the universe, but it is always on time. So for those of you, and interesting enough, I actually do your spirit insights before I pull your cards, and it's interesting how this ties in. You've got time because we already, we've already talked about um, um, something around you guys not wanting to, you guys feeling like you're not, your fears are coming up because you're not where you wanted to be at a certain time. Okay, so spirit is reminding you, the universe is reminding you, whatever you call it, source, God, you've got time. Okay, your angel number is 1717. So maybe you're seeing this number, maybe not, but now you could pay attention to this number if you're seeing it. Okay, <laughs> this 1717 is drama alert. Oh God. Okay. So this is about your independence, your soul mission. You needing to take time alone, which is why some of you are needing to get by water. This is an opportunity for you to learn, to heal, and to be inspired, okay, and to really focus on your aspirations in life. Take a few deep breaths and focus inward. You need time to think things over and consider your options because at this time, you must rely solely on yourself, okay? So rely on you. You might not believe it, but you're heading in the right direction. And we like to hear that here, Gemini, right? Um, what appears to be a uh, lull in activity is just a natural part of the process, okay? So things may be shaken up for you just a little bit, but just to note, just to note that that is part of the process, all right? 
children card is coming out. Your love life is being affected by children. So I'm not sure how that's going to show up for you. I'm not going to fully get into that because there may be certain situations. And talking about children, you know, is a very touchy subject. So I'm not sure how that's coming up for you. But your love life could be affected in some sort of way around children. Whether that is not being able to have children. Your children giving you issues. You're going through something with a partner with your children. There could be a plethora of explanations as to why this card is coming up, okay? But the reminder is to love yourself. The I love me card is coming out to know your self-worth, that you're not being valued in a connection that you have with someone, and it's time for you to consider to move on and love yourself first. So self-worth is very important in whatever this is that you're dealing with, okay? And your last message here is to have faith in your dreams, have faith in your dreams here, Gemini, whatever those dreams may be, okay? We just talked about that with the number 1717 17 about your goals and aspirations. Um, those are your focus moving into this new phase, moving into this new month here, okay? So let's get your tarot cards out, and we are going to clarify each of those for you, my dear. Messages for Gemini, please. I'm hearing somebody's getting in trouble. Uh, I <laughs> I hope not. I hope that's not the case, but someone's getting in trouble. Maybe that's somebody's child. I don't know. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords coming out for you. The Seven of Cups, two number sevens here already. Two of Pentacles. The Moon. The Knight of Cups. A lot of cups already. The tower, the strength, and the justice. Okay, so we have um, one, two, three, four major arcanas out of eight cards that are here. All right, so we're going to clarify each of these for you, starting with your most recent energy. Okay, most recently, seven of swords here, your energy um, coming up. So some of you have been trying to get away from something, get away from someone, or there may have been some sort of betrayal or deception that have come up, or maybe you or someone had some sort of ulterior motives in a situation, but it definitely feels like someone, you, you know, your energy of walking away from something that may just feel uncomfortable for you, okay, where maybe somebody made you feel like an outcast, or they disregarded you, or they lied on you, or, some, or something like that. But let's see what's coming up here for you. Aquarius energy is here. I did say Aquarius earlier, right? We have the Four of Pentacles and then we have the Nine of Swords coming up. So, uh, yeah. Some, definitely somebody was trying to get away with something. And, and I don't know if somebody took something from you, took money from you, um, stole your heart. I don't know. But whatever this is, it, it caused some sort of stress and anxiety. It gave you nightmares, sleepless nights where you were just up thinking about what happened. Like So this could have been some sort of, like I said, betrayal or deception that has happened to you most recently where it may it put you in a position where you you needed to hold on to something but maybe you've given something away and someone like someone stole it okay somebody took something from you here i'm gonna pull one more card on that most recently eight of a wands energy here and it feels like whatever this was it feels like it it happened so fast okay it happened really fast whatever this was most recently very interesting and very sad because i don't feel a very positive energy coming from this and I, I can't stand to see the Seven of Swords because he's so sneaky and conniving. Okay, whoever this person is have definitely taken something from you, which left you, put you in this place of feeling lonely and feeling like dark, depressed energy. And I, again, like I said, it happened, it happened rather quickly. Okay, so, and this could even be a situation where someone has wired someone some money and it was expecting someone back or someone has been scammed in some sort of way that is coming up for for me as well but i'm going to move on from that most recent energy because that was in the past and we want to see what's coming up for you um in this this time frame but i do i am sorry for some of you that did go through some of this that you were deceived in some sort of way so most recently that could have occurred 
occurred. Your overall energy here, Gemini, is the Seven of Cups. Okay, so we move from the Seven of Swords to the Seven of Cups. So it feels like a lot of thoughts, emotions. This could have been around a relationship for some of you. But, you know, like I said, some of you could, could have been scammed by someone you did know. But I do feel like the seven of cups here it makes me feel like it was a relationship so there's it's someone that you knew that did something to you that's what i'm feeling okay seven of cups energy here scorpio energy so this is uh an energy of there's a lot that's on your plate a lot that's on your mind a lot that's going on in your world you could be tempted by things because you might want to escape and not deal with what's right in front of you or what you're experiencing or what you're thinking about what you're feeling energetically um, but there's there's a lot that is going on and some of you could be living, you know, in the fantasy world as well, delusional in a way. And there's the being delusional is not a bad thing. It definitely sometimes gets you to where you need to be. But um, I definitely feel like because something was taken away from you. Now I feel like it's putting you in this position where you're feeling like you're kind of stuck in, in the dark and you're seeing like there's a lot of things that. <sighs> There's a lot of things that needs to, I don't know, it's almost like if it's a situation of someone stealing money from you here, then it's like you're looking at all of these bills piling up and you're just like, I don't even have the money for it. Um, that, that just came up and that's not going to resonate with everyone here. But um, whatever this is, okay, remember Spirit is saying you got time. You've got time. All right, let, why is the Seven of Cups here for Gemini? We have the sun, okay, and we know, um, no, we don't have the sun. It was the moon that's out here. So we have the sun that's coming out. So ooh, the sun will shine. The, the, the clouds will part. Two of cups energy here. So it makes me feel like um, there's there may be some a lot of things going on, but I feel like someone, I'm hearing someone has your back, okay? Someone that makes you happy. This could be a friendship. This could be a romantic uh, relationship as well. I'm hearing for you to be open to something or to someone there's a lot of watery energy so some of you are dealing with a water sign here pisces cancer scorpio but it makes me feel like there's someone you can turn to when you are stressed out about things and maybe you didn't have this in the past maybe you didn't have this with the person that you were with but there's someone that is providing some sort of emotional stability for you although it is most important for you to find your emotional stability but i do feel like you have someone that you can fall back on this definitely feels like someone that definitely has your back maybe even someone from childhood this could be a child for some of you or you know maybe you're bonding with your child during this time um but and maybe there have been a lot of obstacles in the way of that okay could have been a lot of could have been you know uh, another parent in the way of you bonding with your children because remember the 1717 card is about drama alert so i don't know if some of you having baby daddy baby mama and drama that is coming up for you but i definitely feel like there is a, a level of bonding that you may have with a child or with a person that could help you through some of whatever is coming up for you, okay? So it definitely feels like something is clearing away during this time, something that, that, that did feel clouded and made you feel depressed and made you feel like you couldn't move past it. I definitely feel you're going to be moving past it. You're going to be feeling happy and optimistic. I'm feeling a very warrior-like energy that is coming up, but it, I feel like whatever you have just experienced feels like a growing phase that you've gone through, and now the sun is going to be shining. So if you look at the seven of cups energy here, you can see the clouds, okay? You see those clouds the clouds in the back. So I feel like now the sun is shining on, illuminating a light on some of the things that may have been hidden from you. And now you're you're able to see those clearly. Okay. And that two of cups is, you know, a bond, a relationship with coming together, some sort of connection could even be a soulmate energy as well. But there is an intensity. There's a lot of love that is, that is helping you through whatever you have been in the dark about. Okay. Just make sure this, just make sure this is I'm like a decoy, but just make sure that you're not tempted by something. You're not trying to escape something just to move past it. Okay. Make sure that this is, you're really moving past whatever you have been left in the dark about. Okay. And um, you're really accepting the help, the assistance and the love that you need in order to make it through. Okay. Again, not going to resonate with everyone out there. Okay. 
the an obstacle or challenge that may come up is the two of pentacles and that is about you you know by balancing and multitasking so maybe again because there's so much that is going on with you with the seven of cups so much that is happening some of you are having a hard time juggling and balancing life and whatever it is that you need to be finding some harmony in okay <laughs> um in whatever responsibilities this is you need to really really prioritize at this point and one of my mentors uh, years and years ago um told me these three things when it comes to what we feel like needs to get done. She told me, she said, is it urgent? Is it necessary? And is it, uh, what was the third one she said? Um, is it urgent? Is it necessary? Is it important? You can, you can, you know, whatever it is that you, you're like, I got to get done. You put it in one of those categories. Categorize it to what's urgent, what's necessary, what's important, okay? So urgent, obviously, is going to be the most important thing, okay? And there are some things that are not even urgent, so you might even be able to uh, X that one out, okay? So that's just a little something that made me prioritize the things that needed to be done. Is, is it urgent, important, or necessary, okay? So two of pentacles, definitely an obstacle, and, and you know, multitasking and balancing here. Let's see uh, what is coming up for you. We have the Six of Wands and then we have the Knight of Cups. All right, so some of you are, you, I feel like you're falling, like you're, I don't know, I don't want to say falling into darkness, but I feel like you're, I don't know if you're playing it small or you're like, there are things behind the scenes, like you're not in, you're not getting ahead, you're not getting in front of whatever this is that you're needing to balance, to juggle. Like, I feel like you're in this position of just like, you know, like I said, playing it small or you're behind, you're behind the scenes and not really out. Maybe some of you are even isolating yourself in the house because you're stressed and you have a lot going on. I'm not sure how that's going to show up for you, but I'm looking at the Six of, of Wands and the Cups here, uh, Knight of Cups, how they're, they're both moving forward, okay? So some of you may be in this position right now. It may feel like a challenge. You're feeling stuck because you have too much on your plate, okay? So this is a, a time for you to prioritize what's urgent, what's important, what's necessary, okay? So I'm going to move past that obstacle because it just feels like you need to be strategic in how you're planning out things to get things done so that you don't feel stressed and overwhelmed. Where you're headed is the moon energy, okay? So some of you can um, be experiencing, you may want some sort of change, whether that's a change in your workout regimen or actually starting to work out, changing your diet, changing your location as well. Um, but definitely there's a dual energy that you may be operating in during this time. And there's nothing wrong with that um, either. I mean, you are a dual energy anyway. Okay, this is also a, a Pisces energy here. So again, like I said, water, a lot of water energy, watery energy here. And some of you may have a lot of water energy in your chart. But Pisces and Gemini are both mutable signs. Okay, there's two, like there's two faces to Gemini. There's fish for Pisces. It's two fish um, swimming in, in opposite directions but definitely this is a time for you to connect because you may be experiencing you know that anxiety that depression that may be coming up you may be feeling those that heartbreak that's coming up for some of you that have been deceived in some sort of way so this is an opportunity for you to voluntarily make some change in your life okay let's pull some cards around this I definitely feel like there is an opportunity for um, the beginning of the beginning for something to complete something and to begin something new and to really take care of yourself. Okay, P to uh, purify your thoughts and your consciousness at this time. We have the Ace of Swords and the Page of Cups coming up for you. So I do feel like there may be some news coming in or you may receive an announcement. You're going to receive some news or someone's going to tell you some news. 
again, look, watery energy. There's a lot of water, water here. So this, again, like I said, is someone that you're dealing with or this is these emotions that keep coming up for you, which is a lot of emotions. Some of you may be going back and forth between your thoughts and how you feel. Remember that your thoughts create a vibration and that vibration is reverberated. And whatever that you're giving off, is what comes back to you. So this is a time for you to get pure in your consciousness so that you're putting out good things. It's not just about the affirmation. It's about what you're feeling, what you're giving off, the signs that you're giving off. And this is also to people too. And maybe your body language is not the greatest for some people and it's a turn off for some people, for, for some. Those are just things that are coming to me now as you're being downloaded. So paying attention to that. So this is a good time for some of you. You may want to turn inward because we do have the moon here. You may want to turn inward and get some of your answers, your questions answered. Okay. Tune into your intuition here as well. Okay. With the, with the page of cups. So I definitely feel like some of you are going to be in this position because the page of cups here, and this is my card of like intuition, where you're going to beginning, begin to trust, okay, to trust what you feel, to know that it is accurate, to know that your self-worth is most important, to remember that you have time, and also remember to have faith in your dreams, okay, have faith in whatever it is that you're moving towards, because you are moving towards something different, you're coming out of something, moving into something else, but this is an opportunity for you to trust, Trust yourself, trust the process, whatever this is, because the energy that some of you have been in with this moon energy, it's a it's a no. It's a hard no. OK, it's it's a time for you to move past whatever this is that you have been stuck in. OK, what's coming towards you is the Knight of Cups. So we have more Cups energy. Interesting. OK, because that moon is Pisces. Um, Knight of Cups energy, Scorpio energy here. So this could be, uh, well, remember we pulled the Knight of Cups already too in the obstacle position, but I, there could be someone that could be coming towards you. Someone who is romantic, charming, loving, who's open, nurturing, giving. This person who has your back, again, can show up as platonic or intimate relationship, but there is someone who is definitely, um, you know, coming towards you here. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe someone could be also walking away from you as well. Not sure. Maybe because of your body language or because of, you, you know, where you are, you're not, you're, you've withdrawn from them with the moon card. Um, so it could be different things where you, you're withdrawn um, from someone and then they're walking away. All right, but let's see what's coming up for you so we can get a clear picture of this. Why is the Knight of Cups here? We have the moon, <laughs> the moon is coming out again in the page of swords, a lot of page energy. So it just, it makes me feel like there's slowly, there's a slow shift, like there's a shift, but it's like, this is like the beginning stages of like things beginning to turn for you, things beginning to change for you, your thought process, your emotions, your relationships in general. Okay, so interesting. It's like it feels like a back and forth because when I look at, you know, the moon, it's like the moon here with the Knight of Cups walking away from the moon. But then this Knight of Cups is walking towards the moon. <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting. Ah. <sighs> So I don't know, this could be a, a new opportunity for love, but I almost, I don't want to say that you're closed off, but I don't think you're, I don't know if you're 100% interested of what, uh, you know, in what's coming towards you here. Because the moon card is making me feel like you're, like you're still withdrawn, like you're still seeing the glass half empty instead of half full, or just knowing that there's something in the glass, right? But but it, it definitely feels like an ebb and flow of emotions here where um, you're just not sure how to feel. That's what it feels like. Like that's what I'm, that's what I'm feeling right now. Like I'm just not sure how to feel about something or, so, you know, about someone. Maybe this is the Pisces that we're talking about. You're not sure how to feel about something. So that's definitely coming talk towards you because you're, you know, I feel like your thoughts are kind of lofty and um, it feels like there's, there could be, uh, there, there is a connection, but there is, there's some sort of disconnect. So maybe we're talking about someone who was already in your life and there's some sort of disconnect that is coming towards you. Okay. 
Um, and I don't know if it has something to do with this person who've taken something from you, but I do feel like this could be a new person. But for some of you, if you have just been done wrong and your heart is feeling heavy, you don't really want anyone else in your space right now because I, I feel like the past, the most recent past, there's been a lot that has been going on that you've been trying to juggle emotions. And it's like you are open to new relationships and you're not. Okay, so it's a conflicting energy because it's like you go back and forth because you may still be holding on to whatever emotional baggage from who's who's been deceptive towards you and and maybe it's because you haven't fully gotten over that yet okay so that's what's coming towards you there's an opportunity for love but you're unclear about if that's the right thing for you <laughs> excuse me and that's and that's totally okay okay that's totally okay yeah definitely feels like you and um a water sign okay scorpio or pisces and then we have the uh, tower that's coming up in your, uh, what's happening in your near future. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so, you know, for some of you, you may step into this selfish energy. And I don't want to say it from a negative perspective. I'm going to say selfish because you're taking care of yourself and understanding your self-worth. So you're not going to be fully giving out like you were before okay but the tower also does point to ambition so sometimes things have to come crumbling down in order for you to rebuild so this may be your opportunity there may be something that happens for you to sort of look at the situation learn from it and move past it okay and it may be sudden it may happen like out of the blue for some of you um and it seems overwhelming it's a it's a lot but i definitely feel like it's going to help you grow okay so for some of you, this could be you moving out of a home, um, moving away from a person who's who's done you dirty and just saying, I'm not dealing with anyone right now. I'm going to focus on myself, my health and my happiness. Let's pull some cards around this. Why is the tower here? So we have the um, the five of cut the five of pentacles that came out as well as the the knight of wands. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, this is um you know either you or some either you're walking away from someone or someone is walking away from you and it feels cold. It feels like it happens really fast, abruptly, and I don't know here, Gemini, is because. You're closed off in a way and maybe you're feeling like you're being open as open as you can in the moment after going through whatever you've just gone through and maybe it's not enough for someone else. This could go in different ways. Take it how it fits for you, but I definitely feel like there is an ending, like a moving on from something or from someone, okay? And it, it feels rather intense, the Knight of Wands, okay? And I don't know if it's because someone is, someone could be coming to your rescue to help you. Um, during the during whatever this situation is this now this is a fire energy here so we have water and fire that could be coming towards you to rescue you rescue you or just be there for you or support you because it definitely feels like a moment of you feeling down and out but I do feel like you have support but I do feel a very conflicting energy coming from you because I don't I, I almost feel like you don't know who to trust. You don't know what to say. You don't know how to let your guard down. And so you're just in this space. Okay, so that's what's coming up for you in your near future, which is very interesting because it's a, I definitely feel like it's a growing phase for you. And if you can look at it from that perspective, that your soul, your spirit is growing, although it feels uncomfortable, then you'll be able to overcome whatever this is quicker than you would if you were st if you stayed stuck in the energy your advice is the strength card so that's you finding your power your strength leo energy here and being kind to yourself and other people and knowing that not everyone is out to get you so this is all about you being compassionate and when i think about the number eight i feel like it's the infinity sign on its side but what you give you get to keep so if you're giving out good energy and positivity and kindness, that energy is going to come back to you. Okay, so not everyone is a snake and is out for you. Okay, but 
um, this is going to be it's going to be a time for you to find your strength, whatever that looks like. And for some of you, that's going to be getting by water so that you can release. Some of you are needing to get into the water. And we think of if you can go to the ocean, salt water is very cleansing or take a bath at the Epsom salt. Like I said earlier, that is very cleansing and really like make it a ritual, make it intentional, make it intentional when you get in the shower. If you're feeling like you've had a crappy day, get in the shower, wash from head to toe and ask, you know, envision, you know, all of the negativity and the darkness that has been in your, that's in your org field. Imagine that going down the drain and leaving and never coming back to you again. So this is about you finding your power and your courage and fortitude and being in harmony with what your vision is here. So let's pull some cards around this and see what is coming up for you, Gemini. So it's a time for you to say yes to yourself, self-worth. You're not being valued in, in some of your connections, so you have to consider it moving on. It does not matter who they are to you, okay? Two of swords and the devil, Ugh. okay? So some of you may be feeling tempted by things. And again, that blindfold with the two of swords, not just sure which direction to go to, go in. And some of you are, you know, going towards what makes you feel good because you're feeling crappy. Make sure you're not getting yourself caught up in situations. So this is why the strength card is coming out is to make sure that you find your strength and your power and your will so that you're not getting yourself caught up in other situations. Okay, you're not being blinded by the shiny object you're not being blinded by a pretty face or by a lot of money or whatever this is that you know you find yourself easily getting attached to so make sure you're watching your attachments and you're not being blinded by situations that the most important thing is to balance i'm not saying that you can't indulge in things but in moderation your most important thing is to focus on strengthening yourself, okay? Because temptations are going to come, and I'm, and I'm hearing for some of you, I can't trust anybody. I can't trust everybody, okay? So you have to use your discernment in your relationships and who is good, who's right for you, who isn't on this next phase of your journey. So that is your advice, and your final outcome is the justice card Libra energy here. And this is, um, um, this is about your integrity. And things need to be fair and just, and you guys need to, you need to speak your truth as well as whoever it is that you're dealing with. And for some of you, you might be taking this to a legal situation, whoever this was, the seven of swords, who may have stolen something from you. This may be you, you know, fighting for what is yours. Okay. So lots of things coming up, but at the end of the day. We don't remember we pulled that two of pentacles here, which is what's in your obstacle challenge position. And this is um, again, this is justice is about you finding your balance, harmonizing. OK, and remembering that that number eight I talked about with the strength card, isn't it? That's the infinity sign. What goes around comes around. It's about karma. So make sure you're putting out good things so that you get your good karma. OK, let's clarify this. So I'm also feeling if for some of you who are going through a legal situation with someone who has stolen something from you tangibly like money, your 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 it's in your favor here. The Ten of Cups and then the Three of Wands. So if this has been something that revolves around hap, um, family, whatever is going to bring you, something's going to bring you happiness, something that you've been waiting for. It's going to be fair and just. So I feel like it has something to do with whatever was taken from you in some sort of way, whether that is money, whether that is your heart. I feel like you're going at the end, you're going to get what is fair to you because of your karma. Okay. And, and part of what was taken from you as part of your karma to get you to this phase. You see how it's the final outcome. We started with that's most recently what you've been going through. And it feels like you're going to be completing a cycle, which we talked about completion uh, at some point. But you're going to be completing a cycle during this time frame and getting justice in something and having what it is that you want that's going to fulfill you and make you happy. Spirit is asking me to check the bottom of the deck, the full. So this is going to be a new start for you, the magician, something that you have created. So karma is definitely on your side. So make sure it is a good karma, like I said, that you're putting out into the universe because I'm looking at this is amazing here. 
10, 3, we go 0, 1. So there is something that you've been waiting for. And for some of you, you've been waiting on love and happiness and having a solid foundation. And that is coming in for you and it's going to create a new beginning because you've manifested that. Okay, so make sure that you're focusing on the good. So that is your final outcome. That is your reading, Gemini. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If any part of this resonates with you, give, leave me a comment below. I would greatly appreciate hearing from you. Like this video, share with your family and friends. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Enjoy your month and happy early birthday. I will see you guys for your next reading in June, which will it'll be close to cancer season. So happy early birthday to you, Gemini. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Many blessings to you guys. Love and light. Peace.